Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Kyurotsu with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you, and today is ZTD News, your weekly update in Pokemon Go news. So, as every week, the news has not been letting up, so let's jump straight into the first story, which is the new PvP update, the Trainer Battles update, for uh, status buffs and uh, status effects. Sorry, not effects, status boosts. But hopefully this is going to be something that leads into status effects in the future. So we're going to be seeing uh, from basically right now, it's live right now, active in-game. If you're using uh, Ancient Power, Silver Wind, or Ominous Wind on your Pokemon, uh, there is a chance to increase your attack and increase your defense on that Pokemon. Uh, this is a feature that I did get to get a bit hands-on with in uh, SF. Really, really fun. Of course, all the testing and things like that, everyone's gonna be practicing and using it over this weekend to see how it works. When I did get to try out the feature in SF, uh, we were using, you know, three Pokemon with this effect versus three Pokemon that also could have this effect, you know, could get that, uh, all had that move and could have the potential of the buff, the uh, attack and defense up being applied. And pretty much once per battle to once every second battle, we were seeing that effect uh, come out on at least one of the Pokemon, which was, Fantastic. On a couple of battles, we got to stack the effects as well, which they do stack. Uh, which just, oh my god, Venomoth with a double stack of the attack and defense. Rex Shop, this tiny little moth just absolutely cleaned up. It was hilarious to see, and I'm really curious to see how it's going to play out in uh, the monthly PvP tournaments, things like, you know, the Boulder Cup and Twilight Cup and stuff like that. When Pokemon that have these moves can be used, if people are going to take the risk to try and get that effect to like come off and work or if people aren't going to take the risk or you know having it pay off in a grand final or something would be fantastic but keep your eyes peeped i know a lot of the um you know the pokemon battle kind of uh focus channels like pokey ak and things like that they're testing the features already so i'm sure they're gonna have a video up like asap on the pros and cons on how it's working and things like that keep in mind guys there has been a lot of feedback of people saying why isn't this in raids etc etc uh as with all features in any game things do need to be tested so if they're going to bring it out in raids they would need to test it you know internally and behind the scenes to make sure it's not going to break something or you know it could be too op for raids at the moment unless you're stuck rural by yourself raids aren't especially challenging um there's you know whole channels dedicated to soloing incredibly difficult raid bosses so um at the moment you know give the feedback if you want it in raids and things like that give the feedback and then hopefully it'll be with their team testing to see if it's worth bringing out in uh, raids and if it is it'll come out eventually here is a quick little infographic as well from couple of gaming do be sure to check out their twitter and their instagram linked in the description as well they are on top of all of the updates and things like that with these great images and information this one being which pokemon can actually learn ancient power ominous wind and silver wind just to keep in the back of your mind for upcoming pvp challenges or Pokemon that you might want to hang on to or prepare for uh, your own PvP tournaments and things like that. And speaking of Ancient Power, one Pokemon that will be able to soon learn Ancient Power is Mamoswine, our weekend's community day, like, you know, feature Pokemon. You can evolve Mamoswine right now, but it will not have the special move Ancient Power. You must evolve during your three hour window for community day to get Ancient Power on your Mamoswine. If you don't care about that move, feel free to evolve right now. I wouldn't recommend that necessarily, unless you've got an abundance of Sinnoh stones and all that jazz, but you might as well evolve the ones on Com Day, because if you know, if you don't end up liking Ancient Power, if you don't care about it later on, you can always tear it away, or you can always evolve a million and one Mammoth Swine down the track. You can't really get Ancient Power again necessarily, like maybe, you know, in December if they do another one of the, you know, bring back all the Com Day moves, but December's a heck of a while away, so I'd recommend Spending the Sinner Stones on the Ancient Power moves, and you can always change that later if you change your mind. You can't come back to Com Day uh, for quite a while, so keep that in mind. You'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it kind of thing, so yeah, that's my take on it. I personally will be trying to evolve one for each bracket, and considering I don't have that many fantastic uh, Swinubs, I've just been so unlucky with Swinub IVs. My best one is actually like a... it's like... 90 CP or something. It's tiny. That's probably going to be the one that I keep for Great League, but I, I don't know yet. I'm going to try and get one for each bracket with Ancient Power, just in case, and try and get a couple of Shinies in there too. Again, you can always trade those Shinies if you've got, you know, average IV Shinies. Evolve them to give them the move, and then you can always trade with a friend later on to re-roll the IVs. You know, trade same for same, uh, or if someone misses out, help a friend out. Uh, and, you know, potentially get better IVs on that one, or get it lucky, which will save you on pairing it up later. 
The link is in the description for when your time zone will start for your community day. It's coming up pretty soon, so make sure you check that one out. As the bonuses for this event, we're going to be seeing six hour laws. Normally it's three hour laws, but because of the Valentine's Day event, that overrides the, uh, the law timers. So six hours, that's been confirmed. We're also seeing three times catch stardust. So for the love of all that is good, get out there and catch as much as you can. If you don't know the quick catch technique either, um, do a sneaky little search and find out how to do that as well. I physically cannot do a comm day without doing quick catch anymore because you just can get through so much more catching and things like that. It is not against terms of service as I'm currently have been told. I have been informed that as of right now, it's not against terms of service. So hey, make the most of it before, you know, they change their mind if they ever do on that. So get out there and catch as much as you can. With these monthly PVP comps, I've been spending a fair little bit of Stardust, so I need to recoup my losses with this bonus. And shiny swim up available as well, this cute little watermelon of a lump, uh, the golden like haystack, and then up into mammoth swine as well, shiny there too. Do not forget to get your battles in on your comm day day as well for 10 guaranteed Sinnoh stones. They've confirmed it, they, everyone was a bit iffy about the wording and wanted super clarification, they, they clarified in saying that on your comm day, full day, not in the three hours, you have all day, you can do five battles with a friend and five battles with, you know, Blanched Candela or Spark to get Sinnoh stones. Right now, the 10 rewards are actually active. Um, so I know it's currently Friday for some of you guys, it's Saturday here in uh, Australia. Uh, a few people have reported that the 10 bonuses are currently active. Not guaranteed Sinnoh stones, but I've seen a few screenshots of 10 lots of Stardust and a stone and a candy kind of thing. So start battling now? Fingers crossed this doesn't affect, I mean it shouldn't affect your comm day day, that should be sorted and fine. But bonus bonuses as of right now, so get out there start battling. And as I mentioned with the six hour laws, the Valentine's event is currently live, seeing more pink Pokemon spawning in the wild. I love these little babies so much. So get out there and catch all of those sweet little pink babies. Two times catch candy as well. So if you're running low on candy for certain things, get out there and catch them now. Pine up all those chances and just get mega returns on those candies. The new shinies for this event are babies. We're seeing shiny Cleffa and shiny Smoochum. Again, guys, these are coming from seven kilometer eggs. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know how much I hatch seven kilometer eggs. I don't hatch anything else. I pretty much exclusively hatch seven kilometer eggs, except for the one that gets, you know, my infant incubator is a, you know, a two or a 5K. Last week I hatched like 87 kilometer eggs. I hatch a lot of, oh my God, like since Christmas, the amount of seven kilometer eggs I've hatched is ridiculous. And I have only ever hatched one shiny ever in the entirety of Pokemon Go. So don't, like, I'm not saying don't get your hopes up, but don't get too focused or locked down on, I didn't get a shiny during this event. These babies are crap, all that jazz. It is all just down to chance and probability. So don't get too bogged down on it. But if you get one, hey, happy days, what a bonus. I, you know, my favorite thing in the main series games is hatching eggs. I'm sure you can understand that my frustration of only ever having hatched one shiny Pokemon. However, when I hatched that shiny Pokemon, that absolute elation. That was like the best moment. So I try not to get too focused and bogged down on like, I haven't got one yet. I've hatched like a thousand eggs and still no shiny. But if I get one, it's a happy little bonus. So keep your eyes out. If you get a friend who gets crazy lucky and gets multiple, maybe bribe them for a trade, shiny for shiny, something like that. But the babies will stay shiny after the event as well. But it might be worth, you know, incubating a few more eggs during this event because pink Pokemon are more likely to hatch. That includes Smoochum and Cleffa. So your odds of them, you know, hatching as normal are increased. So potentially the chance of getting them shiny is, you know, their, their shiny rate isn't necessarily up, but them appearing in eggs is up. So, eh, you know, get out there, give it a go, but don't get too frustrated with it. It is what it is. And keep your eyes out for wild shinies in Love Disc. I still have never seen a shiny Love Disc. There's a sneaky little one that's been evading me. Uh, Snubble is also spawning more frequently in the wild. It can also be a shiny. And then also Nidoran female. I haven't seen too many of them increase, but I have seen quite a few of them around. So again, another potential shiny for female Nidoran. Jumping over into Go Snapshot, the new photo mode that is coming to Pokemon Go. So this will be working on Android, iOS, all that good stuff. I'm not 100% certain if it is something that uses the AR kit on Android stuff. It probably will. I don't know. We're going to find out very soon because it is launching soon. 
So keep your eyes peeped on for the in-game notifications and on the Pokemon Go Twitter for when that is fully announced. If you want more details and information as well, link up here for a video I made this week. I did as well get a hands-on experience with this feature in San Francisco. I'm really excited for it. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. More details in that video. But basically this feature will allow you to photograph any Pokemon in your storage anytime. In other Pokemon news, uh, during the Nintendo Direct, uh, nothing, like, uh, people were getting pretty salty about, like, they didn't say anything about the new Pokemon game, like, they never were, like, come on guys, it's way too early, like, it was never gonna happen. So, we did actually get some slight Pokemon news in that there's some new Amiibos coming out. These will be compatible, uh, mainly, obviously, with the Smash Bros game, but all Amiibos generally have some sort of functionality in other games. We're going to be seeing the Pokemon Trainer, Ivysaur and Squirtle in Amiibo form. I personally will be probably scooping these ones up uh, just because I, I'm kind of picky with my Amiibos and things like that, but I do love me some Pokemon, so I'm going to be grabbing those ones. And unrelated to Pokemon are uh, the Snake Amiibo from Metal Gear Solid. I want that so much. <laughs> And lastly, let's get into our AR photos of the week. So last week's theme was Lunar New Year. God, there are so many photos in the ZTD News hashtag. I'm a busy little bee. But last week's theme, Lunar New Year, going into, you know, the whole theme of Valentine's and things like that, next week's theme is going to be love. Interpret that how you will, whether it be Valentine's Day Pokemon or just the Pokemon that you flat out love photographed in the context of something loving and caring and things like that. So have you want to interpret love? Go for it. But the first feature for the theme of Lunar New Year goes to Lone White Wolf with this photo of Ponyta. I absolutely love uh, this placement with the gorgeous lanterns uh, here in Manila in the Philippines. I'm really enjoying the contrast between the darkness of the night and the absolute glow of Ponyta's flames and the lanterns. Great shot, Wolf. And the second feature for the Lunar New Year theme is Crispy Pogo with this adorable shiny spoink. First of all, congratulations on the shiny. And second of all, I'm loving the colours here. They're really complimentary, like earthy colours uh, in the background that just complement the shiny spoink. Really great picture. Thank you very much. I do also have three photos I would like to feature outside of the weekly theme of Lunar New Year. You guys make it so hard every week, but there have been some absolute, absolute bangers of photos in here this week. So first one is for Pokemon Go 2022 with this adorable photo of Snowy Cast Former. It never snows in Tokyo, just about, but this unannounced snowfall made for a really adorable photo of Pokemon Go 2022 and their daughter with Snowy Cast Form in the hand, just how you would catch uh, snowflakes in real life. So love this picture. Thank you very much. Next up is Punk Pop Pokemon with this adorable little Glameow trying to sneak up and boop Granger the cat here. I do love the placement for this one. Great at attack animation as well. And congrats and for being so lucky, getting a new Pokemon to spawn in the house. Or maybe, you know, you, you caught it and had to walk home with it and do all the crate, you know. Hey, go snapshot coming very soon. But love the placement. Great shot. Thank you very much. And lastly is Will O Wisp with this Curlia. Oh my goodness, just the placement for this is so adorable and telling this sweet little story of this little ballerina in a music box on the bedroom dresser. Absolutely perfect, perfect placement. The correct, you know, animation and pose for the Curlia here. 10 out of 10. I love it. Thank you. If you would like the chance to get your photo featured in ZTD News, use the hashtag ZTD News on Instagram, on Twitter. I mean, Instagram is the preferred method, so bonus points if you do it there. Thank you very much. But the, keeping in mind for this week's theme going forward is love. Interpret however you would like. I'd also like to say a quick little thank you to the Patreon peeps, the people who have started supporting over February. You guys are absolute legends and your support is incredibly appreciated. So thank you guys so, so much. I uh, got some fun stuff coming up for, for you guys and which is basically enabled and supported by the Patreon peeps. So some fun travel stuff coming up in March, separate from like the official stuff. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really, really good, really different. So if you wanna get insider knowledge and things like that, you can become a Patreon supporter as well. Links are in the description, but basically the Patreon peeps get a little bit of a sneaky heads up sometimes when certain things are dropping, coming out, all that kind of jazz. So yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate you immensely. But with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.